Good morning, this is Duane, and today I'd like to talk about things you can do with your left hand to break up chords. It's one thing to know chords, to know all the chords, but what do you do with the chords after you know them? I'm a strong believer, as you know, in, in knowing chords, but I'm also a strong believer in knowing what to do with those chords. So let's take a look today just at left hand ways we can break up chords, okay? Left hand ways we can break up chords. Well, first of all, in a song, <clears throat> we could just sustain the chord. That would be the easiest thing. Right? That's very simple. Another thing we could do is do a 2-1 pattern like this. Another thing we could do is use the Alberti bass, which is bottom, top, middle, top of a chord. We're breaking it up that way. Okay. Another thing we can do is, <clears throat> is what's called a swing bass. A swing bass is named because you swing your left hand swings down to play a note, a low note like that, and then comes up and plays the chord. So if the chord is C, we, we would swing down with our little finger and play a low C, probably the second C below uh, above the bottom of the piano, and then the C chord. Now it could be an Indian version. We might, we might, let me do it a little higher so you can see it. And let me invert the chord to second inversion. So, so we can swing back and forth between that low note and that chord. Okay? Now I'm going to play an octave higher just so you can see it because it, it's a little bit out of reach when I play that low. It's called a swing bass because we're swinging back and forth. Okay? There's also the alternating bass, which is the same, except every other time, instead of hitting the root, you hit the fifth of the chord. Root, chord, fifth, chord, root, chord. And so on like that. Another thing we could do is break up the chord in arpeggios. In other words, stretch it out like this. And again, I'll do it an octave higher so you can see it. But it's best the the sound is best if you play the second C above the second C uh, from the bottom of the keyboard. The root, the fifth, and the third. In other words, the same chord but you stretch it out. Root, fifth, and third. Listen. specialized things like like this We're taking a C6 chord and breaking it up by playing the, the root the fifth and the sixth in that pattern there's also a pattern like this that I can play it straight. Those are straight eighth notes and these are syncopated eighth notes. And that's true of all the all the patterns basically. And then of course there's a boogie pattern like this. What we're doing is we're kind of we're playing the, with the C scale, playing C, C, and then the third.
can be syncopated and steady, and you're syncopated. And then there's the classic boogie pattern of playing uh, root, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, flat seventh, and then back down. higher here. C, C, E, E, G, G, A, A, B flat, B flat, A, A, G, G, E, C. Okay, very slowly. Okay, now that, I probably just showed you what, a dozen, a dozen different patterns, different, different ways to break up one chord, basically. Okay, and you can apply that to all the chords, of course. So there's a few ideas about ways to break up chords in the left hand. And uh, tomorrow or very soon, we'll show you some ways to break up chords in the right hand. Okay, so it's one thing to know chords, another to know what to do with them. So I hope you uh, take that to heart and develop all those styles and many more because there's lots more. Okay, thanks for being with me. And uh, be sure, if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, be sure and go down there below the video here and you'll see our uh, web address, playpiano.com, and sign up for our free newsletter on chords. It's full of lots of great stuff like this. So, see you there. Bye-bye for now.